Alright guys. Grip lock. That's not the reason you shanked your shot to the right. That's uh it's not it. Let me let me paint a mental picture for you real quick, okay? I'm a I'm a disc. Or even better yet, I'm a I'm a train. And I am barreling down the train tracks fairly quickly. I am going dead straight down this laser beam straight train track. And all of a sudden I take a 45 degree turn. Physics isn't going to let that happen. I've got all my momentum going in one direction. It's going to take a pretty large force to change it and go in a different direction. So back to the disc. If the disc is going straight, it's going to take a much larger force than my fingers can muster to change its direction all of a sudden. So when I'm pulling the disc straight, if I hold on to it for everything I'm worth, I cannot change the direction of the disc. It's going to come out straight. Um, my fingers are not physically strong enough to hold it in. And, and I play guitar, so I have, I have decently strong fingers, and I still cannot hold on to the disc through a full pull because the disc is going straight. It's not going to change direction. It's got all of its momentum going in that direction. It's not going to change all of a sudden. Um, the only reason that somebody who pulls straight might shank it right is is not reaching back enough but that's not the point of this video um point of this video is grip lock grip isn't the issue so if you are are not pulling straight if you are spinning too much and the disc is swinging around your body rather than coming straight through your body you your release point is going to be somewhere on, on this curve i'm gonna imagine it like this for you okay this is like a, a top down view of the, of the shot of a person who's rounding if you're throwing on this big curve here at some point on this curve, the disc is going to release just from centrifugal force, just which is actually a thing. Um, centrifugal force, uh, just from curving around your body, at some point the disc is going to pop out. Now, if you always throw the same disc at the same power with the same grip on the same shot with the same weather and the same barometric pressure, the same everything, that shot is going to happen the same. Pardon me. Um, but if any of those things changes, besides maybe barometric pressure, um, it's not going to happen. It's not going to pop, pop out of the same spot. Um, and this is really, really frustrating because the shot that worked last time you played this course isn't going to work the next time because you're curving your pull and, and, and the disc is just popping out wherever it feels like. So if you grab that disc really, really hard one day, then on this curve, you're going to be able to hold on to it all the way around to here. But if your fingers are tired and you can't grab on as hard, the next day your disc is going to pop out here. Or, or if you grab a, a wider rim disc that you can't quite hold on to as well, it's going to pop out a little bit over here. And then you switch to a mid and it pops out early from here. And so you try a different grip and then it pops out way early. And so you grab it really hard and you pop it way out here. So it's, those, those things are, are what causes grip lock, is, is pulling on a curve. And then your grip dictates your release point. Whereas if you pull straight... The disc is going straight. You can grab it however you want to. The disc is going to fly straight. I think I could throw a disc with one finger and still throw it straight. Um, it won't go very far, but because I'm pulling straight, the disc is going to be moving straight, and I can't change that with any, any sort of grip. That's why people say you're supposed to grab the disc hard. So if you have a problem with grip lock, focus on pulling the disc into your chest. This is a key part here. Is getting getting your elbow bent and pulling the disc in that's going to automatically straighten your pull and and you will have less issues with grip lock so this is kind of a weird video for me I'm, I'm this started out as a rant <laughs> I, I was I, I saw somebody complaining about grip lock uh, adamantly and, and it, it prompted me to make this video so um, let me know what you think of this um, it's kind of a quick tips video so I'm gonna call it that um, I guess remember to subscribe so you so you see these videos when they come out or follow my page on Facebook. And um, I'll see you guys on Tuesday.